And joining us now from Philadelphia, Mark Zandi, who is the chief economist for Moody's Analytics. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. I want to ask you about something that President Obama told CBS. He said he doesn't think America is in danger of a second recession. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I think uh, clearly the risks are very high. People are extremely nervous. The businesses are shell shocked. But uh, I think uh, with uh, with some good policy making, we'll be able to avoid a recession. That you know we've made some significant progress righting the wrongs that got us into this mess in the first place. And the most uh, important fundamental reason for optimism is that American businesses have done a very good job getting their cost structures down, getting their profitability up getting their balance sheets in order. Uh, not, not all businesses, uh, you know, small businesses aren't doing quite as well as the larger companies, but in aggregate, they're doing, doing very well. And given that, it's hard for me to see, it's, it's not a reason for, the, for them to go out and hire people, which is what we need, but I think that is a reason for them not to lay off workers, and that's what would have to occur for a recession to Well, let's take a look specifically at the stock market, which is down 11% in August, down 4% just this week. We've had some wild swings in the past two weeks. What's going on here? What happened to the recovery? Well, we got hit by a string of unfortunate events, you know, everything from $4 for a gallon of regular unleaded to the Japanese quake effects and the impact on our vehicle sector. But most significantly, it's the debt ceiling drama, the spectacle in Washington, and of course the S&P downgrade, I think completely undermined confidence. And we were already very nervous coming out of the Great Recession. Uh, and this just was too much for us to get our minds around. And so I think we've all uh, frozen, and that's reflected in these wild swings and the declines in the stock, pro the stock market over the last couple of three weeks. I've read your most recent macro forecast. You talk about policymakers need to do something to instill confidence uh, in the economy. The president is going to announce this new uh, jobs plan after Labor Day. What specifically do you think could help jumpstart this economy? Well, you know, policymakers have to do two things at the same time. Uh, the first is they've got to follow through on the debt ceiling deal. You know, they've got to come to terms over the next several months with respect to some further future deficit reduction, about one and a half trillion dollars worth. They have to execute on that in a reasonably graceful way. If they don't, then we're going to get more downgrades, more turmoil in the stock market, and we're done. We're back in recession. The second thing they have to do, though, is they have to provide some additional support to the economy in the very near term. And this gets to the the president's jobs package. And there are no, there's no magic bullet here, uh, but there are a number of, of things that can be done that would be helpful. I'll just name one, we can talk about others, and that is extending the payroll tax holiday. As you know, we all have a, mm -hmm. a holiday for this year. We need to extend that in 2012. Otherwise, uh, the drag on the economy will be too great. That is something the president has talked about multiple times, extending the payroll tax holiday. He also, also talks about extending employment uh, insurance. If that Congress does not pass that, how many jobs could that cost the economy? Well, if we don't extend the payroll tax holiday, and if we do not extend uh, the emergency unemployment insurance benefits, which also expire at the end of the year, then that's going to cost the economy in 2012, calendar year 2012, about a percentage point of GDP growth, and that translates into about a million jobs by the end of 2012. So if we don't do those things, then the uh, number of people employed will be a million less than otherwise would be the case. So, Mark, given what we just saw, the brinksmanship on Capitol Hill, there's a lot of things Congress has to do when they get back from August vacation. You're saying that if Congress does not move forward, this will be terrible for our economy. Yeah, we're done. I mean, it's vi you know, the, the spectacle in Washington completely eviscerated confidence. We have all frozen. We can see what damage that has done. So we can't go through that again. They have to get it together, and they have to come to terms and do it by the end of November. All right, Mark Zandi, thank you so much.